So, um, ding, 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 ding. So, I got asked recently by one of my loyal and trusty fans, what do you do or how do you deal with that naysayer, that fucking voice in your head that tells you that you can't do it, it won't work, you're too dumb, you're too weak, you won't, ha- you won't handle the attention, it's disrespectful. So, it took me a couple of minutes of contemplation of where this was coming from based on his uh, question, but then it quickly became clear to me that what we're talking about is the effect of having suppressive people in your life. Now, I'm going to make a value judgment and say that you're probably either leaving with your parents or living with people or networking with people who are extremely suppressive towards you. These kinds of voices that you hear all the time, this won't work, this is bad, this is stupid, you're stupid, they're stupid, everybody's stupid. All these voices, you're not born with them. Does that make sense? You're born as a baby. So you got them along the way and you said that you're able to keep doing what you want to do while you hear the voices in the background so you have this anxiety in you and the voices are in the background so the solution to your problem is to remove the people who are naysayers from your life either tell them to never talk that way again So neutralize the problem or completely remove them from your life. I know you expected something better, something more spiritual, inner maybe, but I'm sorry, that's the answer. You asked in the, for the sake of the video, you said, let's call it the the, removing the naysayer. Well, in order to remove the inner naysayer, you have to first remove the outer naysayers because the inner naysayer is only a reflection of the way you're living, of who you're living with. So as long as you let people who are naysayers into your life, people who tell you you're not good enough, you shouldn't do this, attention is bad, wait, it's not the right time, you know, be small, be seen but not heard, As long as these people run your life or even give you these messages, which are false, but they give you these messages, you won't be able to stop hearing that inner naysayer because you don't know how to shut up the outer naysayers. So the way you treat the outer naysayers is the way you treat your inner naysayers. You just let them be. Is that the way it works? If somebody was hitting you every day, would you just let them be? Of course not. You would stop them and tell them to stop it or I'll, I'll either leave or I'll have to press charges. If somebody was calling you an idiot and saying you're a fucking moron, I hate you, you fucking idiot, you're good at nothing, it will be pretty clear that you should leave. So what these people do, they pretend to help you and they tell you not yet, you're not good enough, you have to wait. All these uh, assertions that are meant to suppress you, to stop you from going after the things you want, from expansion. You should also watch my previous video on the truth about relationships or a secret about relationships uh, that I just uploaded yesterday because I also talk about what happens when you carry around you these people who are suppressing you and slowing you down and how you can never hope to even have the slightest chance of achieving your dream if you let them be in your life. So take care of that problem. You're not going to let go of that inner naysayer till the outer naysayers are gone. 
And I say this through experience as somebody who's had a lot of inner naysayers in me. And once I've broken out of it, once I decided I'm not going to listen to these people anymore, I'm going to live on my own, the inner naysayer was also gone. Now, when I came back to these people, I was already independent in my thinking. So they could not control me like they could then and I could pose limits on how they could speak to me. So just because I tell you to cut them off, it doesn't mean you have to do it forever. But it does mean that you're going to have to take control of your inner space and then control their reaction towards you if you want to have them in your life. So let go of the outer naysayers and then the inner naysayer will disappear. And you, Because you know it's rational, you know what you want to do is the rational thing to do, you know it's the right thing to do. Not because I taught you, but because your intuition tells you so, because your rational mind tells you so. So anytime you're not acting rationally, it's almost always the fault of the people around you. And when I say the fault of the people around you, I mean your fault for keeping these people around you. So take care of that and let me know how it went. And I promise you, your inner naysayer will go away with them. And it's good that he stays that way. Hope that video help, hope this video help you. Please subscribe if you haven't. And let me know if you need some help with free online coaching. At least the first call is free. And if it's a good fit, we might just work together. So uh, like, subscribe, all that shit. See you soon.